Dr. Paul Janssen was an exceptionally talented and enthusiastic scientist. He developed drugs and medicines for the treatment of numerous disease areas. Four of them are included in the list of essential drugs compiled by the World Health Organization. Dr. Paul's father, the son of a proud farming family, became a successful doctor in Turnhout, a small town in the north of Belgium. The geneeskunde in the year 2030, my father's geneeskunde, uitoefende, stond eigenlijk vrijwel machteloos tegenover de problemen. En de meeste geneesmiddelen die er toen bestonden, en God weet dat er niet veel bestonden, waren nog wel onwerkzaam of veel schadelijk. The young Paul Janssen attended local schools in Turnhout. During the war years, he studied at the Faculté Notre-Dame de la Paix in Namur, Belgium, where he became fascinated by physics, biology and chemistry. He then went on to study medicine at the Catholic University of Leuven, before departing for America, where he was introduced to modern pharmaceutical research. In America, uh, the first private research laboratoria. Dat was in Europa onbekend. Mm -hmm. En ik vond dat een fantastische uitdaging om te trachten dat hier ook waar te maken. In 1953, and with very limited means, the recently graduated Dr. Paul began to realize his dream. The development of an independent research laboratory that would devote itself exclusively to the discovery and development of innovative medicines. Many of those around him expressed their doubts about this ambition, but Dr. Paul was not to be dissuaded. Dr. Paul's totally unacademic approach reaped almost immediate success. Within a short space of time, he and his small team had brought several successful medicines onto the market, among them Haldol, a medicine that soon received extensive coverage in the international medical and pharmaceutical journals. In the early days, the synthesis of new molecules was very much slower than it is using the techniques of today. But Dr. Paul nevertheless launched one successful product after another. From the 50s onward, Dr. Paul focused increasingly on numerous new development projects. The discovery of the anesthetic fentanyl ushered in a breakthrough in surgery. Just a few years later, the successor to fentanyl enabled the very first open-heart operation to be performed. More breathtaking successes were later to follow. In the 60s, for instance, the anti-diarrhea medication Riasec, which Dr. Paul had discovered earlier, conquered space when astronauts took it along with them to the moon. Africa was also of interest to Dr. Paul. In those days, the child mortality rate there was extremely high because the children's natural resistance was being undermined by worms. Dr. Paul and his team researched remedies for a variety of worm infestations. In all his research and development, Dr. Paul insisted upon ethical practice. He tried to keep animal testing to a bare minimum. He was therefore a great champion of alternative methods. Dr. Paul was one of the first Western industrialists to gain a solid foothold in the heart of the world's oldest civilization, China. After years of intensive negotiation in the 1980s, Janssen Pharmaceutica was granted permission to set up a joint venture in Xi'an, together with four Chinese state concerns. Dr. Paul was a born researcher. It was his life, and he always felt he had no time to lose. Mankind was plagued by far too many complaints. To him, success was a relative notion. After 25 years of research, he drew up a balance sheet. And success in our field, of course, depends on a variety of factors. The most important of these factors, uh, I'm sure, is people. From 1991, Dr. Paul withdrew from the day-to-day -day management of the company. In the Center for Molecular Design, researchers were developing anti-HIV and tuberculosis medications. It was here that Dr. Paul worked on his last great dream, the discovery of a substance that would successfully combat HIV. 
Dr. Paul received a whole series of honors and distinctions, both at home and abroad, including 22 honorary doctorates and five honorary professorships. In 2002, the scientific journal Nature considered Paul Janssen arguably the most successful drug discoverer of all time. He gave us more than 80 medicines that have meanwhile saved millions of human lives and are still making an invaluable contribution to the health and well-being of people all over the world. His search is a sort of obsession. Is, um Dat doet je graag of je doet, dat doet dat niet graag. Maar als je dat graag doet, dan is het iets waar je niet mee kunt uh, stoppen.